Welcome back to DIY No Need to Cry with Ivelisse. DIY Decoupage Seashell Coasters using EasyCast. What I used, all items are listed in the description box. I first cut a piece of cardboard that would fit inside the coaster, leaving an edge. Using that, I traced it onto the backside of the napkin and then cut it out. Do this with all your pieces, then separate the plies of tissue. I bought these mirrors at Michael's because I was already there, but you can use wood, cork board, rubber, foam, tile, or anything you want. This is just what I use. Using a round sponge brush and white acrylic paint, I painted the whole mirror. I gave it two coats, letting it dry between each one. Using Mod Podge and a clean brush, I glued the tissue to the mirror. Place Mod Podge, then place the tissue. Before placing more glue, I used crumpled up plastic wrap to smooth out the wrinkles, then cover it in more glue. Once that was dry, I added a coat of some glitter fabric glue I had to give it a little sparkle and then let that dry. Using Marie's acrylic paint in the color 450 Thilo Blue, I painted the edges of the coaster. I gave it about three coats and again letting it dry between each coat. Using a black sharpie, I cleaned up the edges, and once again, my camera decides to stop recording. Just when I thought we were past this. <laughs> Just go all the way around very carefully. Then I gave it one more coat of Mod Podge and let that dry. The last step is using the Easy Cast. I learned this from Mona at Craft Clutch. She makes some really awesome coasters using it. The link to her channel is in the description box if you want to learn more about making coasters out of Easy Cast. I just wanted to cover mine with it to give it that glass look and make it sturdy. I put down some wax paper, you can use parchment paper as well. Then I placed the coaster spaced out on top. I took some silly putty, rolled it out and placed it all around the wax paper pressing it down to seal it. Following the instructions, I prepared the resin. I had an 8 ounce box and used half of each bottle for all four coasters. That was more than I needed, so unfortunately some of it went to waste. Using a sponge brush, I poured some resin on top of the coaster and spread it out until it dripped over. After the top was fully coated, I went around the side smoothing it out.
then took a grill lighter and popped any air bubbles with it. <music> Lastly, I put a cover over it to keep dust and anything else from sticking on it. I woke up at night and took a look. It had been about seven hours into curing and I knew I had to make sure to not let them cure all the way before cutting off the excess. I peeled them off the wax paper and that's when I realized. The mirrors came with the bumpers on the bottom and therefore they didn't lay flat on the wax paper. Because of this, the resin went underneath instead of out to the sides. I quickly grabbed my X-Acto knife and cut the sides off. I went back to sleep the next day. This is what I found and did. I had extra bumpers and I was able to save the project and I think they came out pretty good for my first time. They're going to look great when I finish my living room which will be nautical theme in cream and navy blue. Thanks for watching! Let me know what you think about these in the comment section below. And if you like this DIY, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you're not yet subscribed, I hope you consider subscribing to get updates on future videos. And remember, do it yourself. There's no need to cry.